Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 4th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. The only safe way to look at our sun, folks. Beautiful images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Plasma filament rope there spinning away in the northern hemisphere. But no major solar flares or CMEs to talk about. Still in experiencing the coronal hole wind stream. And we do have a very large sunspot incoming. Big, bright, fiery hole there on our sun. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Looking at outgoing here with a little earth to scale imagery. Amazing stuff. This massive sunspot that's turning in. It's going to be putting on quite a show. We did have a backside CME, but that's about it. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, you can see that elongated coronal hole stretching all the way up to that plasma filament region. And as you can see on the surface, just north of it, northeast region, top right region of our sun, watch plasma filament erecting from the surface. And we do have another small coronal hole, Earth facing, set to increase our solar winds. Solar winds got over 500 kilometers per second today, but still well above average. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, just some amazing images of four sunspot regions. Closer look here at that big sunspot region turning in. Amazing and dynamics all around it. Filament ropes, plasma ropes, lots of energy. So stay tuned to daily events worldwide. We'll be keeping track of this monster of a sunspot region coming in. Another light here. You can see its complexity, blues and the oranges. Another light here, black hole sun. Big black spot on our sun right now. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar winds are coming in at about 483 kilometers per second right now. Space weather overview, solar x-ray flux showing a petite little B-class solar flare and that was from that center disc region sunspot KP index hopped up to a 3.5 overnight and that was due to the coronal hole wind stream space weather prediction app here showing the space weather spiral not much to see here no new CMEs coming our way Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, they are showing that large CME taking off from the backside of the sun right at Venus. And that is a massive CME. Waiting for telemetry to come in from LASCO, as that is newly detected. Showing here the first four days of LASCO 3 coronagraph. This is kind of what we're going to be able to see on the total solar eclipse is all the energies taking off from the sun on the outside of the darkened part covered by the moon. This total solar eclipse is going to be enjoyed and amazing for everybody worldwide or along its path anyway, but most likely will be cloudy. So stay tuned, give you a world weather forecast coming up. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as USGS is still reporting well over 260 earthquakes in 24 hour period. Did start out the day with a 6.1 earthquake. Japan, Minami, Japan, that was off the coastline. Multiple aftershocks continuing through Taiwan and off the coast of Taiwan. 5.3 earthquake here reported Bing Tuan, China. And as well, Padam, India, 5.2 magnitude earthquake right on the fault line, India plate. As well, another one very close to the fault line, Greece here, and a pretty deep for the region, 
4.0 magnitude, 5.0 magnitude earthquake here, Azores Islands region, La Palma, folks, is around there. I remember that erupted a couple years back. Central America here, El Salvador, 5.1 and 4.5. And as well, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, sizable 3.9, but the numbers are a little bit low through that region. North American plate, not much to report. No major swarms, largest being a 3.0 magnitude earthquake, the geysers. And then Alaska, Unalaska, notable earthquakes here, right around the Unalaska, Aleutian Islands region, pretty deep and right on the fault line. We're seeing a lot of earthquakes right now right on the fault line and at pretty good depths. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 350 kilometer depth, 4.5 Fiji, and a notable deep earthquakes there at Volcanic Islands region of Vanuatu and New Caledonia. 5.1 magnitude earthquake there, South American plate. USGS still reporting just above, slightly above normal for earthquakes around the world in the 24 hour period. Quick glance here at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Most of the activity over the past few days has been Northwest Pacific Plate. And as well, notable activity all around uh, Tonga region and Kermadex, notable the deep earthquake, Marianas Trench before the large 7.4 earthquake, Taiwan. Stay aware and prepared, everybody. Having a glance here now at the SO2 models, brought to you by windy.com. Well, brought to you by our VART 45 volcanoes that are erupting around the world, but nonetheless, this is showing the sulfur dioxide emissions. Multiple eruptions still through Mexico at Popocatépetl and as well coming in from the north at uh, North Pacific, Kamchatka. Eruption at Fernandina, Galapagos Islands, and as well somewhere in Peru. Notable SO2 coming out of Mount Etna. And there is Kamchatka where there are multiple volcanoes actively erupting there. Carrying on here around the rest of the world, overlooking Australia, notable SO2 coming out of southeast regions and as well parts of northern New Zealand. Quick glance here at our northern hemisphere as we still have quite a bit of SO2 activity here. Volcano is still erupting in Iceland. Get to weather here. We do have a very big system affecting eastern Canada and the United States. 18 inches of snow falling through parts of Maine overnight, leaving many without power. Having a look here at forecast lows this week. Extreme weather breaking out through the Gulf. And thank you, Mel, for sharing that. Melody Scammon. Stay safe out there. Big system developing in the long range for Quebec. Big winter storm and as well multiple lows moving in for the long range, especially across western United States. Same thing here through the European forecast. You've got multiple lows coming in this week. Ireland, the United Kingdom, watch out as you've got a pretty intense system coming in for Monday the 8th of the total solar eclipse and then yeah, just a rain train of low pressure systems here. Let's go back to today and forecast here for the next seven days. One, two, three low pressure systems. This one's going to be a doozy. Strong system heading up into Iceland. But then this one here, particularly for Ireland and parts of northern UK, heads up big extreme weather event on your doorstep in the long range forecast anyway. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, Southeast Asia, Australia, and South Africa. Daily evaporations through parts of Africa. Still a possible cyclone development 
northwest and off the coastline of Australia. And as well, strong system still forecasted for South Africa. Now let's have a look at our upper level winds brought to you by a null school sharing the southern hemisphere as this is our polar vortex right now in the southern hemisphere getting ready for winter. This is what our northern hemisphere looks like in the winter time, but a little bit more dramatic and you will see that get more intense as we get through into the summer months here. A little look at versus the northern hemisphere. And as well, all of the equatorial winds, trade winds, upper level atmosphere. I want to thank everybody for choosing and hitting the play button. Thank you so much for joining the family here at Daily Events Worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. I'm happy that you enjoy this information as much as I do to be shared. Thank you to all who have shared recently because... There, we've got almost 5,000 new followers in the past week. Much love to y'all, and I'm so grateful. Please don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment, let me know where you're watching from, and get into that live chat at any time, 24-7 Earthquake live stream. I hope you enjoyed your day today. Much love, everybody. Stay safe. Thoughts and prayers for everybody affected in regards to that large earthquake, Taiwan, as well as almost a quarter million of people without power last night due to the very large low pressure system. Hashtag, it's time to leave Earth. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Daily events worldwide. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.